Hey writer friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you my 2022 writing goals wrap up. So I know it has been a long, 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 long time since I have been on YouTube. Last you heard from me that wasn't a book club discussion was that I was going to be a NaNoWriMo rebel. So it's been over a month and a half and I didn't mean to ghost the channel as far as writing updates and writing advice, but the past couple months have been kind of crazy. I did come out with a newsletter this morning talking a little bit about the things that have been going on in my personal life the past couple months. So if you're interested in that, please, please, please subscribe to my newsletter at hollydavisbooks.com so you can stay up to date. I have been coming out with newsletters about quarterly. I'm going to try in 2020 three to come out with more newsletters but they won't be like spammy or anything they'll be helpful and I'm not yeah I'm not gonna spam your inbox but I thought it would be good for me to finally show my face and say words and just let you know how my year went because at the beginning of 2022 I came out with my writing goals video where I actually had you plan with me my year whether it was for uh, writing editing or querying um, deadlines and things like that. So I'm going to go through the deadlines that I made for myself and everything I wanted to accomplish this year and let you know if I hit those goals. And I want to know in the comments down below the goals that you met in 2022 or wins that you had because everyone has something that they can celebrate. Not everything will go your way, but there's got to be something that you did that you're proud of. And let me know if you're excited about next week's video, which will be my 2023 writing goals. So I'm super excited about that because I am ready to start fresh and start new. It's weird to say like, because I loved, you know, 2022, but I'm ready for 2023. I'm ready to kind of start fresh. And really quickly, if you don't know me, my name is Holly. I'm a kidlit writer, currently querying a YA fantasy. Hopefully we'll be working on a middle grade contemporary fantasy sometime next year. And I am the host of the Diversity is Lit book club, where we read one book by a BIPOC author every month and discuss it on my channel. If you don't know my girl, Brittany Wang, she is an amazing author, an amazing person and friend. And she came out with a goal setting workbook for 2023. I actually actually used her workbook last year to help me plan out my 2022 goals and it was so helpful. I was like messaging her, hey, are you coming out with your 2023 like workbook? And she updated it like right away and sent it out. This is uh, on her Patreon and it is free for her patrons and I am a patron of hers. I will link her website and her Patreon down below because she's just awesome and she has so many great resources for writers and of course a great book on Wings of Ash and Dust, another winner. Now I know you might like seeing my lovely face, <laughs> but I am going to flip the camera down so that you can see me go through the workbook and do my 2022 writing goals wrap up. And then next week I will dive into the 2023 goals. All right, so we are getting up close and personal here with the goal setting workbook. Super excited. And I have some of my old papers here too for what I did last year. The first thing, which is what I am doing, is a 2022 celebration keepsake. So this is going to be me going through and seeing what I accomplished each month. Not, not each month, because I don't think I did something each month, but at least in line with when I wanted to accomplish my goals. So actually last year, or this year, I guess, the beginning of the year, I wanted to start working on Project Diamond edits January 1st. So yay, nice and lofty. That's what I wanted to start off with. And then I wanted to finish the third draft by February 28th. And I remember I used my friend Savannah Goins as motivation because we were going to swap manuscripts and uh, beta read or critique each other's work. So I actually did that. I starred the things that I actually did accomplish. So in February, I finished the third draft of Project Diamond. And I'm just gonna say PD for short. <laughs> there, I wanna make sure you guys can see, make sure you can see these. So then in March, I sent Project Diamond to my CP. Now, the one thing that I had on my list for March was to start my query package and my agent list. Now, I can't remember exactly when I started my agent list. I don't think it was that soon, but 
Um, I did start my query package and on March 13th, I sent my query package to Kim Chance. Um, I had paid for some editing services from her and so I did that on March 13th. And now the query package was the first, I think it was the first 10 pages or 15 pages of my manuscript, the query letter and the synopsis. So I sent that all to her because that's the query package what agents would normally be um, asking for their submissions. And then on the 29th of March, I received my feedback. So my deadline with Savannah to get feedback for our manuscripts was the end of March. So I did do that because my goal was in April to start my Camp NaNoWriMo edits, which was implementing her feedback. And I also got my query package critique back from Kim. So in April, I was also going to work on that. So pretty lofty implementing feedback on the third draft and the query package. Now here's where things get a little bit dicey. I wanted to finish my edits for the third draft uh, feedback on April 30th, which is the end of Camp NaNoWriMo. But I didn't do that <laughs> at all. And I also, with my query package, I revised my query letter and the opening pages, but I didn't work on the synopsis, which to this day in December, I still need to do because, so I was querying everyone who did not ask for a synopsis. <laughs> I did revise it a little bit um, for an agent, uh, one of the agents that I queried, but, but yeah, I probably still could clean that up a little bit. So if I had finished the third draft, my goal was to start line edits, which was the final draft of Project Diamond in May which I did not do. I started line edits in June, so I needed the whole month of May to keep working on implementing the feedback. So this is one reason I like going through month by month to see, you know, one month for me, I thought it was gonna be enough and it wasn't. So my goal for next year is to try to give myself like less tight of deadlines and give myself more time to accomplish things. And so then if I finish early, then it's just a bonus and I'll surprise myself. But if I take longer, like I usually do, then I won't, you know, be disappointed in like not hitting my deadline. But so I started line edits in June. My goal had been originally to finish line edits by June 30th, which I did not do. I actually finished line edits in August. So, you know, it was right for me to, my goal was to start the line edits in May and finish at the end of June, but I started it in June. So I finished it at the end of July slash beginning of August. So I was pretty on point with needing two months for line edits. I just didn't anticipate needing more time for the feedback. Now, if you can see from my original goal in, let's see, what is this, July, because I was supposed to finish Project Diamond, I was going to start querying Project Diamond July 1st, and for Camp NaNoWriMo, work on a Bargo's Riddle edits, which is a manuscript that I shelved for now that I'm uh, waiting to get back to, but uh, I didn't get to touch a Bargo's Riddle this year. I'm hoping to next year, but so I didn't get to do that, and July was just spent working on those line edits. But in August, I did start querying. <laughs> which was super exciting. So also in my newsletter, I go into detail about how many people I queried, did I get any requests, what was the response on those requests, and what's my plan for querying for the new year. So I will go into some of that in my 2023 goals video next week, but yeah, I kind of, really am vulnerable and honest in my newsletter because they're taking the time to follow me on my journey. So I wanna share something that I'm not sharing with everyone else. So that was super exciting, started querying Project Diamond. So in September, I originally wanted to start outlining my new work in progress, but this year I did something different where I did Preptember and that was where I was trying to improve my writing craft and read books that were in the same genre and age category as my work in progress so that I can kind of prime myself and be ready for Preptober to properly outline and plot and plan my NaNoWriMo novel. So I started Preptember, which was, you know, 
looking at middle grade, trying to nail middle grade voice, and kind of starting to outline a little bit, get ideas generated in my head for my NaNoWriMo project. But something else happened in September that I did not plan for, and that was to send, and I received in the same month, a disability reader feedback. I also talk about this um, in the newsletter today, but this was completely invaluable feedback that I got from Vanessa Marie. I will link her down below, but she had given me feedback because one of my characters has muscular dystrophy, and I forgot that I had wanted to get feedback to make sure that I was accurately portraying this character um, and not doing a disservice to you know, when I'm representing someone who is disabled. So I received disability reader feedback. And so that kind of put a little bit of a damper on things just because I hadn't planned on it, but I really wanted to implement this feedback before I sent more queries for Project Diamond. What ended up happening is I, in October, I started outlining my nano work in progress and I started implementing my disability reader feedback. Now, another goal that I did have in September was to possibly submit to Pitch Wars, but that ended. <laughs> Pitch Wars is no longer around, so I didn't have to worry about that, sadly. So then I actually didn't finish outlining my NaNoWriMo work in progress because I decided to be a rebel so that I could focus on this disability reader feedback and try to make the manuscript a little bit stronger for Project Diamond. So I was a nano rebel, AKA tried to, um, because I barely, barely worked on Project Diamond. The past couple months were a little bit crazy. So in my head, my 2022 goals was to start NaNoWriMo, start a new novel and win NaNoWriMo and write 50K of a new novel, but I didn't even finish outlining that novel. So that definitely didn't happen. <laughs> and so then in December, my goal was to finish, actually finish the draft because I didn't know if the middle grade manuscript was gonna be more than 50K. So I did give myself a little bit of time in December originally to finish the draft, but since I didn't start it, I didn't need to finish it. <laughs> So if I want to look at my goals that I had in my writer life, this wasn't all supposed to happen in 2022, just my dreams, you know, my big dreams that I had. Um, finished Project Diamond, which I did. Query Project Diamond, which I did. Still working on the rest. Write a middle grade book. I am almost there <laughs> trying to work on it, trying to get the literary agent and the book deal. So I am well on my way with the writer life. I should have put some personal stuff here too, but I didn't do that. So as a little recap, I did finish the third draft of Project Diamond. I finished my query package. I finished line edits and I started querying Project Diamond. I did start outlining a new novel and I got disability reader feedback. So overall, a really great year for my writing life. Definitely didn't go quite as I planned, but it didn't mean that those weren't wins. It was just showing that I'm able to pivot and not stay pigeonholed into these goals if they don't align with where I'm at and what's going on in life. So always try to be flexible, but still just use this as a guideline and a path for your writing goals. I will link my goal setting playlist up in the cards and down in the description box below if you're interested in checking those out so that you can stay fully charged for the new year. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.